How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to walk you step by step through the Wi-Fi setup, the installation, and the printing on the Zebra ZSB DP14 thermal label printer. Even though this is the DP14, the wider four inch model, everything should be the same process for the DP12. It's just the smaller, cheaper version of this that can't print the four inch wide labels. First, we're gonna connect it wirelessly using a mobile phone, or you could use a tablet, you could use an iOS or an Android device. And then we're going to install the printer on both a Mac and a PC because people use either. And then I'm gonna do some test prints. There is an index to the video in the description so you don't have to watch it all the way through. I do respect your guys' time. You can skip to whatever part of the video that you want to watch. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into the initial setup and get this bad boy on some Wi-Fi. Here we have our printer. There's two things on the back. This is where the power supply in goes and this is a reset button if you ever wanted to delete the uh, wi-fi or reset the printer to factory settings you would just poke something pokey in here you'll feel a little button you'll hold that button down for a while and then release it and it would reset the printer however we don't need to do that because this is a brand new printer and as soon as we plug it in it's going to spit out its first label grab your three prong cable plug it in and then plug this into your wall. Then you're going to press this top button to open the printer, and there is this little holder in here that just holds the labels in place during shipping. You don't really need that, so you're gonna pull that out and toss it aside, and close the lid, and then go to the front of the printer and press and hold down that power button, and it's going to boot the printer on. It'll flash a couple of times. It'll do the boot sequence, and then it will spit out a label. There we go. Zebra actually programmed this with a lot of thought and made it very easy for installation because now you're just going to take your Android device or your iPhone or your iPad. Uh, you can take that off, take your phone or your tablet, open your camera app, scan that barcode. It should pop up with a link, tap the link. It'll bring you to Zebra's website hit okay, and then it'll bring you to this link to get it either on the App Store or on Google Play, depending if you're on an iPhone or an Android. We're on Android, we're gonna go to Google Play. Or you can just open up your Play Store app, type in ZSB, and then this ZSB series app from Zebra Technologies pops up, you can hit install. And the same thing on an iPad, we're just going to open up a camera, we're gonna scan that QR code, and it popped up with a little thing saying, go to this website in Safari. And then I'm going to hit download on the app store, then download the app, which I've actually already done. Then I'm gonna hit open. It's asking me if I would like to use Bluetooth. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi are on your device. You're gonna hit okay. And my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are indeed on. Hit login, continue. So this is where you're gonna to have to create a Zebra login by hitting register now right there, or you can sign in with Google, Apple, or Facebook. I'm actually gonna sign in with a Google account. So I just signed into my Google account, verified that it was me using my Google device, and then we're going to hit add a printer. Once you use our location, allow only when using the app. And now it's saying let's let us set up your printer. We're gonna hit start. It says the LED on your printer should be blinking blue. And if it's not, you should press your power button to wake it up. So I'm just gonna press my power button once. There we go, we got the blue blink. So now the printer and the iPad are trying to connect. And there we go, we have a discovered printer on the iPad. We're going to hit select. Bluetooth pairing request, we're going to hit pair. We got a green check. Now we are Bluetooth connected to the printer. We're gonna hit next and we're going to program the Wi-Fi network name and password into this printer so it can connect to my home Wi-Fi network and be shared amongst multiple devices for wireless printing. We're going to pick our network, which is eight foot ceilings. You gotta make sure you type your password in without any mistakes, otherwise it will not work. And then you're gonna hit submit. It's gonna send the signal of what the password is from the iPad to the printer. And then the printer will be programmed 
with that Wi-Fi network and password and it will be able to connect to it automatically anytime you turn the printer on. We got a green Wi-Fi signal. Looks like that means it is connected to Wi-Fi now. So we're going to hit next. The resolution here on the iPad is not very good. It's asking me if I wanna name my printer. I'm not really gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna skip. Your ZSB workspace is almost ready. Let's hit arrow over, arrow over again, arrow over again. This resolution's really not that good on the iPad. Over arrow again. Connected, setup is complete. We're gonna hit finish. Then we're going to do a two finger swipe up, close the app, and then just open the app back up. It should automatically log you in and it should say the printer that you have, that it's online, and the media that you have installed in it, which is four by six. And it says that I have 167 of 190 prints left of my cartridge. If you go over here to three bars at the top, that's your menu for designs. Depending on what you're trying to print, if you're just trying to do an address label, you could open up that address right there, copy it to your designs to bring it into your workspace, and then go into my designs. As of right now, the mobile devices are only used to initially set up the printer to Wi-Fi. And then once you create a template on a desktop or a laptop or on a computer, a Windows or a Mac, then it's going to sync with this account and you could print those templates mobily from your phone. You can't design on your phone as of now. You can't print shipping labels on your phone as of now, but hopefully Zebra will fix or update that in the future because I think that's pretty big expectation for a consumer when buying this printer. Now that your printer is connected to Wi-Fi, we're going to go to Mac. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and log into their cloud software on here. Now that your printer's connected to a Wi-Fi network, we're going to set it up with a Mac computer. If you didn't set it up on your Wi-Fi network, go back to earlier in the video because you have to set it up with a mobile device. You can't set it up just with your computer. Once it is confirmed to be set up with your Wi-Fi network by showing itself on your phone, grab your computer and I will see you guys in the computer. Once you are on your computer, you're gonna wanna open your favorite browser. We're gonna be using Google Chrome and you're going to navigate to ZSB portal.zebra.com and once you get there it will prompt you to this sign on you're going to sign on with the same username and password or if you used google apple or facebook you're going to sign in with whatever account you used once you are logged in it should kind of look like a bigger version of the app as long as your computer is on the same network as the printer it should pop up saying that that printer is online, give you your prints left, tell you what media is loaded, and a nice little graphic of your printer. You're gonna go over here to apps and tools, click on that, and you're going to click the compatible with OS X because we're on a Mac and we're going to download the software. Once that software is done downloading, you're going to click on it in your browser or navigate to your downloads folder and you're going to open that software. This little installer should pop up. You're going to click and drag that into your applications. I think I have already installed this at one point, so this popped up. We're just going to replace mine. Yours should not come up with that because it's your first time installing it. Then you can go up here to this finder and type in ZSB, and it should pop up with a top hit of ZSB Printer Tool Installer. I'm gonna double click on that. And it says that this is app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to hit open and it pops up with this Zebra installer. We're going to hit accept. It's gonna ask for your password or it's gonna ask for your fingerprint or if you don't have a password, it might not ask for anything. Then you're gonna hit install. And what this is doing is installing the Zebra drivers on your computer with the Zebra package of software that they force you to install with this printer. I'm not a particular fan of this method, but if that's what Zebra's doing, that's what we got to do. It did take a while for it to install, and then it popped up yet again with this authentication login. So log in with your username and password over on the left, or if you're using Google, Apple, or Facebook on the right, sign in with that. Then we're going to hit done. Right here on the top, this little icon is your Zebra connected software. 
that basically installs the instructions on how to print. It's the same little menu on the portal. If you click on that, it shows you that printer right there. Now that the printer is installed, I'm gonna show you guys how to print a test print. If you're printing shipping labels, then you're gonna have to go into your platform. Or you're gonna have to change those platform dimensions to four by six because that's what we're trying to print. But I'm just gonna use a sample label. I will put a link to this in the description as well as a video that's very important on how to change shipping labels to four by six because it is important to get them in four by six format if you want them to print correctly with your printer. I'm gonna go to this print icon right here on Chrome. You could also go to file print, make sure the destination picked uh, is the zebra. So I'm going to go to see more. And then down here is the ZSB DP14. I'm going to click on that. You know, and make sure your paper size is four by six because we're printing a four by six document. And then you're going to hit print. It's going to send the signal to the printer. There is our beautiful sample label right there. This is an adhesive label that could just be stuck onto your box or your poly bag for your shipping. And that's how you would print the four by six shipping label with this printer. You can only print four by six shipping labels from a computer right now. You cannot print them from your cell phone, even though we just installed the printer through the phone. Yeah, that's just how it is. Now that your printer is on a Wi-Fi network, we are going to set it up with Windows. And if your printer isn't already on a Wi-Fi network, then go to the description of the video and it shows you how to set it up. You use either an iPad, an iPhone, an Android device, but you have to use a mobile device to set it up. You're not gonna be able to set it up through the computer, oddly enough. It's kind of weird, but that's how it works. I'll see you guys now on the Windows computer where we're gonna set it up. So here we are on our Windows computer. You're going to open up your favorite browser and then you're going to navigate to zsbportal.zebra.com. I will put a link to this in the description for your convenience. It will bring you to the sign in yet again. You're gonna have to sign in with the same login and password that you created earlier or your Google, Apple, or Facebook account, whatever you used before. Once you sign in, it should show your printer that it's connected to the same network that you set up earlier on your mobile device. Device. and you're going to go over here to the left scroll down go to apps and tools click on that and then where it says compatible with Windows you're going to click download it's going to download this .exe file that we're going to open as soon as it's done downloading it just finished downloading I'm going to click on that exe it's going to pop up with this do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device prompt it's not going to show it on the screen record for whatever reason and I'm going to hit yes now it's going to bring us to the installation wizard and the software is starting to install. You're going to hit accept. Please wait while this is installed on your computer. This is going to take some time, so just be patient. It's going to come up with this prompt. You're going to hit sign in. Down here, there's this blinking window. We're going to click on that and it's going to bring you to the sign in once again. Here, you're going to sign in using that same username and password or your Google, Apple, and Facebook account once again. Once your sign in is successful, you can close that browser window. You can hit continue here. It's going to say adding printer for a while. Be patient. This is going to take some time as well. Then you're going to hit continue. Done. And you can see this little icon down here at the bottom right, ZSB printer status advisor. Maybe yours is in this up caret. But if you click on that, it brings up this same little display that's on the portal homepage with information about your printer. Now your printer is installed. You can open up a new window, go to fulfilledmerchant.com. I will put a link to this in the description. There's a four by six sample label on a blog post. We're gonna hit download and it's just going to give us this four by six sample label to print just to make sure that our printer is indeed working. We're going to go up here to the top right, hit that print icon. You're going to want to make sure your destination is the ZSB. So we're going to have to hit the drop down, go to see more. There's ZSB DP14. We're going to hit that and then we're going to hit print. It should send a signal from the computer to the printer and print you out a beautiful sample label that you now could take and put on Nothing because this isn't a real label, but 
If it was a real label, you could put it on a package or whatever. If you got the blue screen of death from your Windows computer, like I did the first three times I tried to film this video, you're gonna have to go down here, type in updates, Make sure that your system is up to date. You can check for updates and install all of the updates and restart your computer a bunch of times because that's what I had to do. The old Windows update had printer problems and I think they fixed it in a recent update so I actually just had to update again and then I was good. If you're gonna be doing primarily shipping labels, you're gonna wanna check out a video I have in the description, how to change the four by six settings on multiple platforms, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Poshmark, because it's gonna save you some frustration. Link to that's in the description. If you want to do labels, you're gonna hang out more on this portal page and you're just going to uh, create designs. I don't have a tutorial on how to make designs yet, but I do have a design right here that I made just as a sample. This video is already too long. I'm gonna come out with a separate design tutorial, so do keep a lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this printer or the installation, let me know about it in the comment section, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.